Hi everybody, my name is Jessica Holyfield. I'm a professional dance choreographer, dance educator, and dance analyst based out of the southeast of the United States. And um, I caught everything official music video making film right as it dropped. Um, I was right in the middle of editing <laughs> um, some content and this popped up on my YouTube notifications. So we are taking a look at it here. I've already taken a look at the music video um, and I know with all of the B-sides or all of these subunits, they do not have dance practices with them. So this is mostly going to be just the direction side intention. Maybe we'll get some backstory on this. Very excited about it. I think all we gotta do is take a watch. I'm so happy. I've never been so happy to see fire in a music video. So he's reminiscing after breaking up. And this is so like the opposite of what I just watched. I watched behind the scenes of Wu Yang. And he was not this type of vibe of reminiscing after a breakup. Better angle of your face. Ah. I like that. A director who knows what he wants. I love to see it. Because Wu Young was like, I want to look like I was in the rain. Like that smexy kind of vibes. <laughs> this is so the opposite. I love it. <laughs> They use foam because sometimes people for snow they use the foam and it gives that really thick snow like vibes. He's got the best music video, he just has to kind of just stand around. It looks sad. <laughs> it's kind of great. <laughs> what a great gig. The other guys have to dance and put in the effort. <laughs> he has to stand there. <laughs> he put in the effort. He just got to walk. Oh my god, I love it. Uh, I also know he did just have surgery. So I get it. Like, I think this is perfect for him. He does have a lot of spots. Yeah, he wears the same thing for a lot of them. Oh, she, yo, yo. Do you see? Do you see their PJs? Are you ready for this? Look, I'm wearing like low-key a very similar vibe and you just proves got work up top We got party on the bottom PJ party of us right here. I love it 
I wonder what they're talking about. Can we make something up? I think she's talking about all of her favorite types of popcorn. And he's like, that's a really great point. What type of kernel is the most ideal kernel for popcorn? We all know that popcorn... I think there's literally only one kind of kernel for popcorn. You just give different flavors and vibes. Oh, so aggressive. Oh. So this is all my fault? Oh. Dude, what did he do? Did he tell her that she can't have popcorn anymore? I bet you that's what it is. Look, she's ready to just freaking leave and she's got PJs on. Like, that's serious. She's like, I don't even freaking care. <laughs> He's so gentle. Oh, that's good. And he's going to be sad again. Good shot to get in the mirror. Mirror shots are tricky sometimes. Because you want to get the reflection. But you also have to, uh, you have to make sure the camera doesn't get in the mirror. Oh. I love that. So much fire everywhere. I love it. They have, they probably gotta like be very time sensitive to this because we don't want that wall be catching on fire. Mm -hmm. He did a great job. He really did. But his was the most chill to do too. Yay, the basketball court. What is it about? Michael Jordan? I used to love Michael Jordan as a kid. She's supposed to be like all of in it. It's not popcorn, but it'll do. Basketball, I guess. <laughs> Have one hand in my pocket. Hit it. Ah. Strike two, third time's the charm. It's not that I can't score. I can't reach. <laughs> that's fun. Oh, that's not fun. Size for me, and the basketball court is set ablaze. So cinematic! Gosh, that's awesome. Who knew that one facet about doing this line of work is you just get used to people touching your face all the time. Because San and San's case, I noticed that a lot. And it just in general, like they don't even have bad an eye about it. It's so interesting. He doesn't have that furrow in this. How does it look so real? The movie magic, everyone. Looks like a filter. It's bubbles! Oh, I was right! It was the foam! The little foamies! Wow! Oh, that's so fun! Yeah, those are actually very comfortable. 
Yeah, some of them are made like with, it's like a, a hybrid of plastic and some other stuff, so they last longer. We don't care. We want the broken ghetto ones. Those are awesome. And now we're sitting on a bench. We're still sad. It's honestly probably really difficult to be able to carry that type of emotion to different scenes and have to look happy and then have to shift it to make it look that same degree in all of them. That's really hard, I think. Especially if he has to showcase that range this is his first time doing it. Very impressive. It truly is. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I know that all of them participated in some way with their stuff. Here we go. Can we love to some people? Ooh. Let's not let familiarity overshadow the preciousness. Put that on a freaking t shirt. Goodness. Wow. I really, I really love that. That's awesome. Thank you. That was great. <laughs> okay, so for all of us, you know, we were we were kind of thinking through during the whole music video portion, like what could this mean? So for him, it, it's it, he wanted to capture the more general sense of the word, of you know everything. It could be your career. It could be your um, just a relationship. It could be love. Um, just kind of encapsulating his regrets and sorrows within the song. And I think that is, that is deep and vast. And I feel like it, it actually kind of tailors out and perfectly fits in, compliment, in complimentary to all the other tracks that ATs as members have, have brought because you have, you know, youth where it's definitely, it's deep, right? Very deep and more on the, like subdued does have like that upbeat kind of vibe about it but it also feels a bit somber and lyricism you know very angsty and then you have um it's you it definitely has a sense of you know constriction but it has like that yummy justin bieber kind of groove about it and then you have mats where it's just it's still that level of uh, not all of them are negative like i'm not saying that they're all very real does that make sense and it showcases the highs and the lows of whatever circumstance and I think this was a really beautiful, like, rounding out within the genre sense. Um, and that was such a, that was so, so insightful. Like, that, yeah. I mean, I really, I'm kind of at a loss for words. I mean, like, I think my favorite part, my favorite part that he said, gotta go back, says solo tracks done. Everything can mean love to some people. It might mean careers for some people. Some people it may mean their dreams. The true meaning behind it all. Let's not let familiarity overshadow the preciousness. I, I love that, you know? So I feel like all of them mean something incredible and I think this one definitely has a very deep meaning that I feel like the music video showcased a lot in a cinematic tone of course through like the love interest side but also it did also showcase the dream side too because of the, the if you think about world a 
because that's what this is in. And for him, it was with basketball, but I do know it was actually with soccer in real life. So there's like a true relevance to that. And I think he did a fabulous job encompassing that. And I think it was such a, such a privilege to be able to kind of understand the lore significantly more now to be able to really look at this and truly understand the depth of it a lot more than if I was just watching it just because, you know, so this was a true joy to take a look at. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. If you want to see more ATs, I have so much of it on YouTube, but I have so much more on Patreon. So what I normally do is I actually very recently did an ATs marathon where I took a look at their entire discography from a dance analytical perspective because as a dance analyst, I really like looking at movement quality and progressions throughout because it reminds me a lot of what I do with my own students in my day to day. So being able to see them from their pre-debut all the way until seeing them in crazy form and a lot of the um, subunit kind of releases we've seen recently it's been very enjoyable for me to see that growth because it's just it's very inspiring it's kind of like a very like surface level word to use because you can go so deep with that and I think just being able to understand the lore enough because like I said I've been doing more and more research as I've seen more releases so I can be more um, intentional with feedback from an analytical like from a dance sense and hopefully be able to pick up more on the easter eggs that come along with the choreography just like in the music videos so i've really been enjoying it if that's something that you want to really take a look at i have it on youtube but if you want more i have so much more on uh, patreon it's all released there so once again i'm jess thank you so much for being a part of this and i will catch you on the flip side bye